Welcome in to 5 Day Crypto. My name is Chase, level one CMT and full-time trader. Today we're going to look at Bitcoin and we're going to put things in perspective for you. If you think you're late and you think you've missed the big moves, I've got some shocking news for you. And we're going to look at the chart and you can decide for yourself. Because I think once you see this, you can't unsee it. All right, so let's start off on the monthly chart. We're at the we're at the Bitcoin BLX, so don't be shocked on the price here, right? We're going back. We're going to look back in history a little bit, okay? So let's paint this picture first. We posted this to X earlier and noting that look how close we are to all-time highs. Bitcoin all-time high monthly close is only at 61K. We're knocking on the door. Now, again, this is not the current price, right? We're on the BLX, so don't be shocked. You're like, what the hell? Uh, no, we're still at 57. Calm down. Uh, once we break this, that's when the floodgates really open. And although it looks like we've been just doing nothing but going up, and we kind of have, if you put this in bigger perspective scale and zoom out, right, it looks like we're getting ready to really explode. And I can make that even more impactful for you right now. So let's put it on the weekly chart. Do the same thing, zoom way out, and you're like, yeah, that's we're looking a little close here. Maybe we're gonna find some resistance soon, and maybe we do. But what about this? Let's go to the logarithmic regression bands and show you just how non party mode we are yet, right? Look at the current prices. We're still almost at the fair value line here, right? The median line. Look back here. The previous cycle of 2020, right? Just at the median line. So who cares if we go up a little bit more than come back and right ebb and flow around? Once we break this top green line, which by the way is all-time highs and 75k as of right now and rising, uh, that's when the explosive move starts. Uh, look at the top, right at the red, right? Let's go back to the previous cycle. This one was a little bit more hefty, got to the second upper line, but look again. Once we, we, we dilly dally around in this green channel, right? Fair value up a little bit, back to it, up a little bit, back to it. Who cares? But once you break the top line, that's kind of all she wrote. Even though we back tested this one on 2017, right at the top and nuke down to the upside, hit the second band. Let's go back even further. 2014, 2013, 2014, our new cycle, right? We break out. Look at that. Our first really kind of real bull mode, right? and break out the top of the line after dilly dally around the median line the fair value right there break out parabolic right this cycle was a little bit different than the others double got a double peak and massive double peaks right we had a low of 65 dollars and ended up going to 1200 that's a pretty good second peak uh but still look at the top of the zone we actually went outside of it this time right so outside the second line Inside the second line, a little bit less. Next cycle, right, which we just came out of, 2021. Not even, barely in the zone here. Not even to it there. So maybe this cycle, we go just a little bit lower. You're like, oh no, how much is that? We're not going to get that high then. Let's go see. Let's go see, right? Looking at these prices to the right, uh, you can see that might not be so accurate after all. And looking how we are just now starting to flip where we start to get bullish. This is where we start to get bullish above the fair value line. We just did it a couple of weeks ago. This is where things start, not getting frothy and getting ready to end, right? We haven't even broken this one yet. And then you could argue then we really start the chaos, okay? We still have a ways to go here. So let's project this out with a perfectly accurate, highly scientific straight line on a curve line <laughs> and let's project this out so let's say we peak this year go towards let's say christmas time because why not let's um you know draw this relatively conservatively right this this line is slightly curving and we're not gonna you know for the sake of time we're just gonna kind of draw it here would you agree that that's relatively close let's go down just a little bit so we can you know make sure we're fitting that curve Right, but look at the look at the price. So the bottom line is over two hundred thousand still. That's at the end of this year. What happens if we go longer? It's still rising. Let's take it another year, or maybe like summertime of twenty twenty five. Right, over we're we're probably be approaching a quarter million. Take it to the end of 
2025, you're most certainly over that, right? Most certainly. So we have a ways to go. We have a, you know, in time and parabolically, right? I mean, this, this, if this doesn't put it in perspective of you still got some time left, I don't know what would. I mean, that is about as crystal clear as you could make it for somebody that you're still okay. Where you haven't missed anything, right? Peak, peak in the red, peak in the red, peak just below the red, but still kind of creeped in it a little bit. Even if we get close, let's say we hit 180k, right? Maybe it's starting to get your spidey senses ready to sell, but you'd think we could probably hit something close to that, right? Based on this, Bitcoin logarithmic regression has worked out for a while, <laughs> just a little bit of a while. So hopefully this puts things in perspective for you. We're still early. Don't FOMO and sell too early. Ride the wave. We, the wave has not even started yet. It's still flat ocean. Even though it seems like, right? The retail is not even here, right? Your, your buddies haven't texted you yet. Your grandma's not wondering how to buy Bitcoin just yet, but that's coming. I would guess within the not so distant future, certainly once we break the top of the green, right? That's when all hell breaks loose. 75K as of now, it could be later, right? Imagine we don't break it to like a hundred. Then we have the wild quarter million, not too insane anymore, is it? All right. If you want more help, more content like this, consider subscribing to our private Telegram alerts group. We talk about all kinds of things like this. Bitcoin, the BLX, more teaching stuff. We talk about altcoins early. Uh, we try to get there early before they start to explode. Um, altcoin market caps, DXY, stock market, your, your requests, whatever the hell you want, consider joining. That's linked right below through Patreon. You get access to our group there. And I'm in there all the time, every day. That's it. Let's get to our quote of the day. Uh, take a good hard look at people's ruling principle, especially of the wise, what they run away from and what they seek out. Amazing quote. Car of the day, Lamborghini Murcielago in the very subtle solar yellow. Parked at the beach. I took this picture myself. I don't know why you would leave it at the beach unattended. <laughs> uh, psycho if you ask me, but there we are. There it is. Lamborghini Murcielago. Still looks great. Over 20, like 25 years old. Stellar. 